is it time for another haul? I think so. Hey there Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel. We have a haul today. I'm trying to do like a monthly haul where I can. Sometimes it'll be smaller, sometimes bigger, sometimes it'll have loads of Harry Potter stuff, sometimes it'll have less, but nonetheless there'll always be amazing items. And today's one of those days where I picked some really cool things. So I'm trying to be more selective now because obviously I do have a lot of Harry Potter Primark things. I need to think about what I'm buying and what I'll actually use, what I actually need. So they had a lot of notebooks today, they had lots of cushions, they had a couple of duvet sets. So they had a lot of things that I've got quite a few of. So I was picking and choosing to find things that I'd actually use and wear. I'm very excited with what I've got. Let me show you. So I used the bag that I bought last time, recycling, saving the planet. I've got at least three Hufflepuff items. I left the notebook behind on the back for me. Let's get on with the haul because I've got plenty of stuff to show you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and also like this video if you enjoy it. I also love reading your comments, love responding to them, so make sure that you do chat to me down below. What shall I start with? Obviously I have obligatory nails. Today's nails are pound ones from Primark. They are just purple. I bought them last month and they're lasting really, really well actually. I like the shiny ones a lot. I always cut them down with nail clippers because they're way too long and I can't even type on my phone, which isn't ideal for the Hufflepuff Queen. So always cut them down with nail clippers if they're too long. That's a top tip for you guys. Now I said to John when I was in Primark that I needed to buy only pound pairs today. So really cheap ones because they do them from about a pound up until about £4.50 and I needed to get cheap ones because I'm on a budget this month. I've got to save up for many adult things. So I was going to buy two £1 pairs but he noticed that they had some on sale and they were down from £2.50. They are marble effect. Look at those. They are really, really pretty. So they are like marbled pink and white, and then they've got like rose gold, a couple of those. I might wear these to the studio tour, I'm not really sure. I also got this bronze set. So this bronze set has got gold in it. It's also got some rose gold and white ones. They are so, so pretty. And again, they were down to a pound. So that's my allowance for the month. First Hufflepuff item, I was really hoping I'd see this, and I did. They had all the houses, and they were very cheap. I think these were £3? £3.50. They are Hufflepuff slipper socks. Now it's getting colder, Potter Puffs. We know this. I'm starting to wear, well, I'm not wearing jumpers yet, but I'm wearing my pyjamas more. I'm using my Hufflepuff dressing gown, so this is perfect. They have got badges inside. They have got Hufflepuff embroidered down the side and these really cute pom-poms. I always wear them with socks. I don't wear them as like slippers without socks. So many good items in here. Now this is one of my personal favourites today. You will have seen this in my getting ready for the studio tour video, but it was also in my haul because I bought it the same day. It was part of the haul. It's this skirt. Isn't this the most Hufflepuff looking skirt you've ever seen? I am obsessed. I will wear this other times apart from the studio tour. I may also wear it for Dryacon because I can't think of a better Hogwarts skirt than this. It was just eight pounds. Wouldn't it have been amazing though if these were official Harry Potter ones and they had like Hogwarts crest embroidered at the bottom and you could get all of them for your different houses. That would be the best. And then me and Danielle could match at the studio tour. That would have been awesome. But I'm very happy that they had this skirt because I was looking desperately for something that would look perfect for that trip. And I was struggling. I was originally just going for a black dress, but this was so, so much better. So I have bunting, it's hung up over there, but I'm going to be 
shock horror. I don't know if I've announced this on my channel yet. I don't think I have. So if you're following me on Instagram, you will know, or on Twitter actually, that I am going to be turning the spare room into my studio. That's exciting, Potter Puffs. So that's gonna happen sometime. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm going to move all my Harry Potter stuff in there. I really want to get a yellow armchair. Anyway, that's going off on the tangent. I am going to use some bunting in there, obviously. Um, I've got the one set over there, which is different, but they also had a new design today. Here it is. It comes boxed this time, and it's the new style crest. So it actually matches these pillows. So I have a Hufflepuff and Gryffindor one of these. These are John's, but you know, I'm sitting on his side of the bed. That's why Gryffindor pillows are on show. So it's got um, all the houses, it's 2.25 meters apparently that's longer than the other one i'm not sure if it is and instead of just having like the um golden thread they had last time which did seem to get kind of tangled up they got a string and it looks kind of nice it looks a bit more simplistic and i think it will really really look good in my hufflepuff room so i was all over that and it was just three pounds this one Now, it's getting colder, as I said earlier, so I was starting to think about my autumn wardrobe a little bit more. Now, I seem to like these really floaty tops, um, which have like three quarter length sleeves, and they just literally go with everything. So I wear them with jeans, and you know, it's just a really flattering look. I love the different colors, and I've got one from New Look, I got a couple from Primark last year, and then I saw these, it was super soft, and I had to get it. Now, obviously, you can't tell how soft it is, because you're just watching me, but take my word for it. It is soft. I got this in a medium. It is longer at the back. I haven't tried it on, so I'm really hoping it fits. And shorter at the front, so it's similar to the other ones I own. It has a zip right here, and it's three quarter length sleeve, so perfect length. I'm loving the color. The blue is really nice, so it's like light and dark blue. I'm not quite sure what the material is, but it feels so, so nice. It was five pounds, so I mean, I couldn't really go wrong. If it doesn't fit, it's not the end of the world. In my normal muggle life, I do like to wear a lot of blue and grey, so I'm quite happy that a lot of the Hufflepuff merch is actually grey with yellow writing instead of being bright yellow. One of my very favourite items is this next one. Now, it's unlikely that there's ever going to be many things that I haven't actually seen on Instagram before I go into Primark, just because, you know, I follow a lot of Potter accounts, so I've got my finger on the pulse. But this next one, I had not seen at all, so when I saw it, I was very excited, and it was just £2.50. This. So, can you see what this is? This is, it says on the back, it's a desktop pen holder. So obviously it's back to school. They had Hedwig pencil cases, Hedwig notebooks, all the house notebooks, the feather quill pens, they had a Dumbledore set of notebooks. They also had a Ron Weasley pencil. A lot of those things I had to stop myself buying. I was so tempted with the pencil, with the Albus Dumbledore notebooks and my own Hufflepuff notebook, like loads of stuff. I had to stop myself. I was like, I've got loads of notebooks. I do not need any more but I do not have enough pen storage because I'm an artist. I have loads of different like pens and pencils. So this kind of thing is never going to go amiss. And at £2.50, how could I go wrong? It is a, well, it says on the front, advanced potion making and it's a Hogwarts apothecary. I can't read that. So it's got his name. Oh, you can take this out. So somebody on my Instagram said they wished it didn't say H Potter on it. Well, you can actually take this out. So you could turn this over. And then on the other side, you could just write your own name. And on the side, it has got loads of potions. So these labels are just like the Mina Lima ones and they are matching to the potion bottle lights, which I've got from last year. I guess this would be where Harry would store like his ingredients for his lesson. And then you can open it up here. Inside, you can just put your pen, oh, you can just put your pens and pencils in there. I might put my coloring pencils. I haven't really decided what I want to put in it yet.
So we all know that I love a good Hufflepuff accessory. I love Hufflepuff accessories. Look at this one on my head. It's my bunny ear scrunchie, which I'm going to be wearing to the tour. This one is from Cine Replicas and it came in a set with a hair bow and a hairband. I love it so, so much. But Primark have also started doing Hufflepuff or house scrunchies. They are just two pound for a set of three. I had to get them because they're definitely something I'm gonna wear. So in all fairness, only one of them really is like matching your house. So you're only really getting one house scrunchie, but I would wear the other ones anyway. And it's got on it um, some stars and it's like the Quidditch pitch. So it's got like the Quidditch kind of symbols. Ah, uh, there we go. We got the badger and it says Hufflepuff on it. So it's a really nice design. You can't really go wrong with this. And I'm definitely gonna wear these for videos, going out different places and day to day. The black one's perfect for work or anywhere really. I'm really happy that scrunchies are actually back in fashion because they were a big thing when I was younger. I loved them then. items left this one is the one that goes with my skirt so you did see this the other day but just to show you as part of the haul so this was five pounds another bargain this top has got frilly edges along the bottom and also along the sleeves it is like a polo neck so it's got three buttons and then it's got the collar right there and i bought it specifically to go with my new hufflepuff skirt i'm going to be wearing my head girl badge on it if you haven't checked out my video where i'm getting ready for the studio tour i would suggest you watch that because i come up with a really cool hufflepuff look i think they did these in different colors i got this in the 12 to 14 and it fits really nicely it's a crop top so you could wear it with jeans but i wouldn't because that's not really what I would wear. So they did different colours and it's a really, really pretty style. Two items left. One of them is Hufflepuff. Shall I do that last? No, I'm going to do it now. It's a wearable item. It's definitely something that I'm going to be wearing over winter. And I think, so I started getting my Hufflepuff jumpers in about May, and that's when they seem to be doing them. The first one they ever did, I didn't really like. It was black with a massive Hufflepuff crest, and it wasn't very, it wasn't to my taste particularly. But then they did the Hufflepuff gray jumper, which was a Quidditch one with the logo and a broomstick. Loved that. They then did a very bold hoodie, which I've showed you in the last haul, I believe. And it's got yellow or mustard color and gray and like darker gray cuffs. And that's got a big Hufflepuff logo, but I bought that because it looks so snuggly. So I bought this in, bought this in a size 12 to 14. It is beautiful. It's grey, so I'm loving the colour. It actually does look like a school jumper, but I love the style. The collar's really nice. It says property of Hogwarts along the top. And then we've got the Hufflepuff logo just printed on there. So all the houses were quite similar. I think the colours were similar. Hmm. I think Ravenclaw's was navy. Um, uh, maybe Slytherin's was green. Gryffindors? Yeah, okay, maybe Hufflepuff was the only one then that wasn't yellow. Just got grey cuffs here grey band around the bottom. This one was £8 and it's still got the really cute little letter design on it for the label. Last but not least, I ummed and ahed about this because I wasn't sure if I wanted it. Well, not that I didn't want it, but I wasn't sure if I needed it because I've got a Hedwig set of slippers and I bought the slipper socks, but these all look beautiful in photos. We have these. These are the best. I love the fact, first of all, that they have got this Hogwarts castle design on it. It's one of my favourite Hogwarts castle designs that Primark do. I've got a t-shirt with it on. I've seen backpacks, I haven't bought them, but I've seen backpacks with it. They are so soft. This part is super soft and they've got Harry Potter embroidered inside. They also say Hogwarts and it's embroidered on them. These were five pounds. That is so, so good. They had two different sizes. I've got quite big feet, so I went for the bigger size. Um, these are seven to eight. I'm actually size six, but I know normally in slippers, your feet hang off the end and that annoys me. So I'd rather have them a little bit bigger. They've got proper 
I just hit myself in the face with them. Um, they've got proper rubber soles, so they should last a while. I'm loving the tartan. I'm just really loving the tartan. So I've now got these and these for winter, depending on my mood. So what was your favourite item? I mean today my favourite item, that is a tricky one. I'm having three favourite items because I make the rules on my channel. In any particular order? Hmm. In no particular order, I love these slipper socks. They are really cosy, really cute and they're obviously Hufflepuff so I love them. This pen pot is also one of my favourites because it's something I definitely use. It's very, very cheap and I have not seen any designs similar to this. So it's a new product, which I'm very happy to see. Last but not least, definitely this skirt because it was just what I was after to wear to the tour. So I was really over the moon to see it. It's as good as a Harry Potter item for me. I love it so, so much. So let me know in the comments down below what your favourite item is, if you have bought anything nice in Primark recently or any other Harry Potter purchases. I love chatting to you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!